Hey guys, so tonight I want to read something for you that I wrote earlier today. So I am just looking on my screen for it. And I shared this on my social media platforms. I just wanted to come on here and kind of talk it through with you guys. So this is what I wrote. When you forgive yourself for past mistakes, you're released from the power of those who may want to hold you hostage to your past. Forgiveness is, isn't only for those who offended you, it's for you to forgive yourself. And I know that when we think about forgiveness, we think about mostly forgiving other people for what they may have done to hurt us or offend us or mistreat us in some way. And this could be anyone. This could be a family member. It can be an employee. It can be a boss. It can be someone on the street who cut you off. It could be just about anyone. And forgiveness is something that every woman is going to have to deal with, some more than others. We have all been hurt in some way, unfortunately. Um this is a part of life where you have two or more people. Eventually, unfortunately, someone is going to offend someone else. And we really do have to be forgiving. Forgiving, And I know you might say, well, you don't know what they did to me, right? You weren't there. You don't understand what happened. You don't know how it feels to X, Y, and Z. And you're right. I don't. But I have dealt with some heavy, heavy issues in my life where I have had to forgive people. And forgiveness does not mean that you need to pursue a relationship with that person. You can walk away, but the important thing is to not walk away with the pain. And I believe that's what a lot of us do. We walk away with the pain and we often seek a new version of what we've walked away from. So that could be a job. That could be a relationship, right? It could be a friendship or it could be a romantic relationship. And you're walking away, but you're carrying the pain from what happened before, you can tell anybody word for word what happened, why you were upset, why you're justified in being angry, and you can rehash that story over and over again, and you feel the pain like it just happened. And it could have been last week, or it could have been 40 years ago, and you still feel it like it just happened, but you've moved on, right? Or so you tell yourself. And... I believe that it is possible for us to walk away from a situation. It is possible for us to walk away from a person and still carry that situation and still carry that person within us. And to be a visionary woman, to have a visionary mindset means that you are going to lay those things down and you are going to become a better steward of your emotions and a better steward of your mental space. Because if you have chosen to walk away from a situation or a person, it is not wise of you to carry that situation and that person with you into the next thing. We cannot level up if we hold baggage, right? When you are trying to climb, imagine walking up a flight of stairs, a simple thing as walking up a flight of stairs on your own, right? For some of us, that might be hard just by itself. But if you're carrying stuff, like if you're carrying suitcases or you're carrying groceries, it makes it more difficult because there's more weight. And the same thing happens when you're trying to level up in life. So you can, you know, you create your vision board and you write in your journal and you do all these cute things. And I say cute things because it, in light of forgiveness, that's just a cute little thing that you're doing. And 
people are surprised when I bring stuff up like this. And they're like, well, aren't we talking about vision? Aren't we talking about what I want the rest of my life to look like? Aren't we talking about looking ahead and being positive? Yes, we are. But we also need to deal with the things that can hold you back. And unforgiveness is something that will hold you back more than the limitations that other people try to impose on you, right? That sense of unforgiveness, that sense of they owe me, that sense of I'm never speaking to them again, that sense of they're dead to me, it, it, it tarnishes, it tarnishes, it blurs your vision, it tarnishes your heart, it tarnishes your character, and it blows, it blurs your vision. And we don't always see it that way, though, right? We feel justified in our anger. We feel justified in our pain. We feel justified in our shame, even. And I say shame because sometimes the person who you need to forgive is actually not somebody else. It's yourself. And we can hold ourselves hostage to our past, we can say the reason why I can't lose the weight, I can't um, get my budget straight, I can't move forward in my career, I can't have a successful and meaningful and wholesome relationship is because of this past mistake that I made. And I want to encourage you to free yourself by forgiving yourself. And it's not going to feel at first, like you're really forgiving yourself. For some of you, it's just going to feel like you're saying a bunch of words and you don't really feel anything at all, but do it anyway. And this is why journaling is so important. I have one of my journals here. I say one of my journals. This is the one that goes with me to everywhere. <laughs> I take it to church. I take it in my car. When I'm driving, I jot things down at traffic lights. I scribble and write while I'm driving um, because these are thoughts that I have for myself. And then there are also ideas of things that I need to discuss. I may need to discuss with VIPs, I may need to discuss here on YouTube. I may need to discuss with friends. It could be a conversation that I need to have in my own personal life, but it's a way for me to get my thoughts out of my head and onto paper so I can look at them objectively. And it's something that I really encourage you to do. And tonight, if you watch this tonight, it can be as simple as getting a book, or a piece of paper and writing the words on top, I forgive. And underneath, you can write a name or a description of the person that you are forgiving. And it is a powerful exercise. It is a powerful thing um, to go back and pull those things up. And you might not want to pull them up here's the thing, you might not want to pull them up, you might want to just stay where you are, and stay in your anger and stay in your feelings, but that's blocking you. That's blocking your vision. The unforgiveness is making everything dark, and you can't see your way forward. If you continue to carry that with you. So a simple piece of paper or a journal, I suggest a journal because you are less likely to lose something like this than you are to lose a piece of paper. I got this at Target, by the way. Um, you might be wondering, oh, what if someone finds it? Don't think about that. Just don't think about it. And if they do find it, and they read it, they've intruded on your personal space, and that's on them. You know, that does not say anything about you. Your journal is a safe space for you to almost have a one-on-one -on -one with yourself. If you follow 
some of the questions that I ask in my videos and you listen to some of what I say and the insights and you start to ask yourself questions, you're going to see that you're getting the answers, the answers that you need. And with that insight and with that self-awareness comes a confidence that allows you to own what you feel and what you think so that if you are confronted by someone else about what you feel and about what you think, you can clearly articulate what that is without shame and without guilt. And that's where we want to get. That's where we want to get because when it comes to your vision, when it comes to the type of woman that you are working towards being, you want to be someone who can forgive. You want to be someone who can love. And when you are hurt and you are offended, it makes it difficult for you to act from a place of love because you always have this guard up. And there's a difference between being reserved and being guarded and being afraid to deal with people and putting up a wall to protect yourself. Of course, you need to have discernment. Of course, you need to, you know, look at people like, <laughs> you know, you need to examine people. You need to question their motives. You need to question their honesty. Um, I don't think it would be wise to take everyone at face value, um, but you remain open and guarded at the same time. And there's a balance and that comes with confidence and it comes with trusting yourself. And many women don't trust themselves because they've made mistakes that they are ashamed of that things that they regret and they think, well, if I made this terrible mistake before, what does that say about me? Can I trust myself to enter into a new relationship? Can I trust myself to perform well at this job? Can I trust myself to be a good friend to this person? Can I trust myself to keep my promises to myself? All these questions come up. And when the answer is no, we put up a wall. We put up a wall and we make excuses and we rely on past experience to inform our future. Your past is your past. It is gone. And I always say that we use the past as information. We use the past as information, but your vision, your vision is the inspiration for your life, right? You cannot be tied, bound, trapped by your past. So whether the person who is holding your past over your head is someone else or it's you, it is time to forgive and it is time to release those people and those experiences this may take you a day and it may take you a year. It depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. It depends on who it is. It depends on how much it's affecting your life, but it is necessary to forgive others and to forgive yourself. It is necessary, not only for your mental health, not only for your spiritual health, it is bad spiritual hygiene to hold on to anger and resentment against other people and against yourself. So if you want to have clear vision and you want to be able to move forward and achieve the things that you want to achieve, you're going to have to let go of the hurt and the guilt and the shame and the embarrassment and the anger. You're going to have to forgive, forgive others and forgive yourself. And it starts with a journal and a pen or a piece of paper. And you just start writing names down. And you can even go as far as saying, I forgive Bob for going out with my best friend in high school. 
you'd be surprised the things that you carry in the back of your mind. And you think, oh, I got over it. Have you ever had something happen? And then immediately you go right back to the last time that that thing happened. It's because you didn't get over it the first time, right? And some of these instances may happen again. Some of these offenses may happen again, especially the smaller ones. But the whole concept of forgiveness is for you to release the person and to release the experience and to release the emotion that you attach to that experience and to ask yourself questions, not only say, I forgive this person for what they did, but ask yourself questions. Why did they do that? Why do you think they did that? And it's not for you to become a psychiatrist, but sometimes, sometimes what we actually need to do is to forgive and have compassion for the other party. And I know that that may seem hard, especially when you've been badly hurt by someone. But in most cases, people who are hurt themselves People who are angry themselves, people who are resentful themselves are the ones who are going to hurt you. So they may not be evil. They may not have evil intentions, but whatever is within them, whatever is hurting them, they took it out on you, right? So forgiveness is extremely important. And so is compassion. And you can have compassion from a distance. I'm not saying that you need to explore a relationship with this person or continue a relationship with this person if you have decided that that's not what you want, right? If you've decided to leave a job because of particular treatment, I'm not saying that you need to go back to that job and reconcile with everyone. Sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes you really just need to move on. You really need to move on. But when you move on, it's not moving forward, it's moving upward. It's elevating your mindset and it's elevating your heart. It's elevating your spirituality, right? And if you harbor anger and resentment and fear and guilt and shame around these things, you are not elevating. And it's possible to walk forward and walk in a full circle and end up right back where you started. And that's why you'll see things repeating over and over and over again in your life because you haven't let go. You haven't forgiven. And when you forgive, when you truly forgive, there's a lightness that you feel. You literally feel it in your body. You feel it in your body. You feel it in your mind. You feel it in your entire being. You actually feel lighter because you've elevated. When you elevate your mindset and you elevate your spirituality by letting go of the things that do not serve you, you level up. That's when you level up. And to be a woman with victorious vision, you have to level up in here before you level up in life. You don't level up by what you do. You level up by who you become. And I want to encourage you to be a woman who forgives and a woman who has compassion because those things are more powerful than anger. They're more powerful than fear. They're more powerful than the wall that you're trying to build around yourself. They're more powerful than the strength that you're trying to portray by putting up that wall. All right, so forgive. Forgive other people. Forgive yourself. Write it down, record it, document it. Documenting your journey is extremely important because there are days that you are going to need to look back on what you wrote and what you wrote is going to minister to you. It's gonna coach you. It's gonna encourage you in that moment. And it's even gonna show you, wow, look how far I've come. Look how much I've grown since I wrote this. Wow, when did I write this? You're going to look at this. You're going to be like, oh, 2024. Wow, it's 2027 now. 
I can't, I can't even believe that I was so upset about this thing. I'm so glad that I decided to forgive myself. I'm so glad that I decided to forgive that person. I'm so glad that I decided to level up on the inside. That's where we want to get. So thank you for listening. Go ahead and do the exercise. Forgive, release the people who have hurt you, people who have offended you. And don't just move forward. Level up. Level up on the inside first. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.